Uh, I just wanted to do a video because I haven't done anything in a long time. I've gotten no autographs in the mail. I had nothing to really show. But I wanted to show a bunch of stuff that came in and some vintage cards that I picked up so I can have autographed. Uh, let's do those first. Um, these were already in my collection, but I found out I can write to Jerry Buchek and Dave Stenhouse. I one of the first people I've ever written to, so I'm going to try him see if that works. I picked up from Mantle Rules, 1959 Dick Tomanek, with a little line down there somewhere. Uh, 69 Sonny Bishop. Bob Moose for my set. I know he's not going to sign because I think he's deceased, but I just it was a really nice example from 74 and I needed that for the set. Harley Sewell, I just picked that up because it was a nice card. These were all less than a dollar a piece because they were on sale. Uh, Billy Champion, I've written to him before. I probably will just put that in my binder. Uh, Bill Coleman, I'm going to send that one out. Uh, Jim Little, 74, I'm going to send that one out. Vince Promuto, I don't know why I, did. I just got this one. I could have gotten some other cards. I got two Roosevelt Taylors, which I'm going to send out. I got uh, for my, not really for my set, just to have 1957 Whitey Lockman on the New York Giants. Pretty neat. And I got a Mets card, which I may or may not send out. I don't know. I'll probably just put that with my set. A little off center. Not a big deal there. And I picked up a few more slides here. I wish I could show you this picture. Maybe uh, next time I'll show you. It's a neat picture of two kids at McDonald's. It's really pretty awesome. It was listed as a slide from Mitchell, the movie, um, which is like on Mystery Science 3, Mystery Theater, Mystery Science Theater. Um, but that was not from Mitchell. I checked. It isn't. And here's a neat slide. You will, again, not be able to see it. It's a traffic jam in Los Angeles, I think. But why is it listed as Omaha, Nebraska? I have to double check and see if that's really from Los Angeles. But anyway, so there's that. And then I picked up a pile of stuff at the thrift store. Oh my gosh, it's a huge pile. Uh, let's see, I found this wonderful tie that's still in the wrapper. It says uh, TNT Aloha Wear. And it's got um, uh, surfboards and uh, natives and palm trees and, you know, jeeps and stuff on it. It's really pretty neat and well made, and it's in a plastic bag. So I thought that was really pretty cool. I'll take that one. Uh, this stuff cost me a total of ten, almost $10. I got a race flag. Uh, it says X Extreme uh, or Monster X Tour. And I've got to see who it's signed by, but probably some sort of drivers or whatever. Uh, there's three autographs on there, some smudge in the middle. I'm not sure what that came from, but uh, so that's probably pretty neat to get that one. I'll see who those guys are. Then I picked up a couple of photographs of Pacific Southwest Airlines that no longer exists. Somebody did this for college or high school. Uh, here's number three, Nearing Landing. There's PSA Airlines, not to be confused with the grading service. And then here's one, uh, number seven. I didn't grab all of them because the pictures weren't all that great. And here's taxiing on the runway. So those are the two best ones. People collect pictures of these things. I thought that was really pretty cool. Uh, I got a Freightliner uh, trucks patch. I got the number six, brass number six or number nine. Let's see. I found a Drew Bledsoe rookie card and a holder here. I switched it out with another one that didn't have such a great holder, Drew Bledsoe. The other one was, I can't remember who it was, um... I found two miniature Disneyland playing cards. Let's see. I got a Ken Griffey Jr. Mother's Cookies in that particular holder. Another playing card for my Chinook. There's a Chinook Wins Casino. Uh, got a Bob, Cra Bob Crable card, which I need to double check and see if I need that. And there's another couple of Disneyland cards there. We don't need to see that. One of the old original Matchbox, but it's missing its uh, bucket there. But still, that's pretty cool. And it's got little decal there. I uh, found a pile of, I think this is African jewelry, African bracelets. There were some necklaces with it. What am I going to do with that? I don't know. I have probably a niece that might like that. Some little gemstone there from Avon. Um, let's see. Now we'll get to the movies here. This is the best part of it. Uh, here's Wayne's World on Laserdisc. That's really pretty awesome to have. 
These were about $1.29 a piece, I think it was. Uh, I could either have purchased them by the, the weight or I could have purchased them by um, the record price. And they just call them records, so I'd rather pay the $1.29. This one here is uh, Wrestling, Lords of the Ring, Superstars, and Super Bouts. It's still actually partially sealed, if you can believe that. And this is on Vestron, and this is a CED, which I don't have a player for. I mean, that's amazing. It could be the only way you could watch this thing. I do not know. Maybe it's on the Vestron VHS. But it was originally $30 when it was new, and it still got most of its wrapper on there. Which, it's got a stain on the cover. Uh, then I got uh, Farewell to the King, which is not sealed, with uh, Nick Nolte. That could be good, or it could be terrible. And then I got uh, Chevy Chase and Daryl Hannah in Memoirs of the Invisible Man. So that might be okay. And last but not least, uh, this is on DVD, but I wanted Amazing Stories. This is book four. And Amazing Stories is a Steven Spielberg production. I think they stopped because it was fairly expensive to make. Uh, kind of like the young Indiana Jones, it was expensive to make. But, you know, and the ratings were, you know, okay. And this was really cool. So I'm going to enjoy the, watching those on my Laserdisc player. And that is all I have for you. Sorry there's no autographs that came in the mail. The mail was fairly, eh, whatever. The eBay stuff was in there. So that's all I've got for you. And hope you enjoyed that. And if you see anything you like, you know, uh, whatever. Uh, thank you for watching.